So cold this morning. Frost on my tent, frost on the ground, but I need to make some miles today, so I gotta get moving. I started day six of my seven day section hike of the iconic Rivas Ranch in the Western Superior Mountains. It's in the middle of Passage 19, near the south end. It was a lovely area, but it was clear why I was so cold when I woke up. Less than a mile from Rivas Ranch, south. The morning started off with a beautiful, peaceful walk through tall grass. It was much easier than the past two days, and I was grateful. Oh my god, look at this tree. What on earth? There is nothing else like this. Look at it, it's still alive <clears throat> at the top. Some juniper is still alive back there. That's wild. Later today. Oh boy. Wow. This is a trip. Supposedly, is a grave for Elijah Rivas, who a lot of this trail and area is named for. Supposedly over there. <laughs> I don't know how you get to it. And there was maybe a wash back there that you could have got to it from, but it looked like a sure way to break an ankle or a leg. So I'll just stick to this trail. I 
hiked with this couple for a couple of miles toward the south end of Passage 19. I think we all appreciated the chance to talk and take our minds off the hike. Goodbye road. Oh, there it is. I actually passed it, but just by a few feet. Whew. There we go. There it is. Let's climb a hundred more feet. Which looks doable to that saddle, I guess. Thank you for not killing me, Montana Mountain. You were easier than the last few mountains. And I truly appreciate that. Oh damn, I lied about the view. Let me show you one more thing. I think even the coyotes. Must appreciate this view. And there's lots of bear skin too. Alright. Have at least three miles to go. And it's supposed to be pretty rough down here.
Do you see the Cairn? I suppose I ought to take you to it. All right. This mountain looks insanely steep on that hook, but it does not feel steep, not compared to the first two days, not compared to by the Roosevelt Lake in section 19. So I'm very happy. I do still have an hour to go, or an hour, I mean a mile to go. Whew, I hope it doesn't make me an hour. It's starting to get dark. But I'll get there before dark. I'm so grateful that this trail has been easier in the last couple of days. Okay, these bandanas lead to supposedly water source, but that's when it's more dry. And it's not too dry now, so I'm good. I had lots of water opportunities. what? This trail is only 850 miles long or 800 something miles long. But anyway, there's a campsite. 
and this is about five and a half miles north of Picket Post. Oh, look at that black rock. Crazy. Um, okay. It's narrow here. Okay. And there's some stones. Oh, man. Dang it. That does not look even at all. my last significant climb. It's only like 150 feet. Right in this heat, man. Oh, it's rough. Top of the hill. There's the gate. And there's picket post. Dang. Quarter miles left. Ugh, have I mentioned how much I hate rocky slopes? I'm sure I do this for some reason, like erosion or something. But geez Louise, it's murder on the feet and it's treacherous. goes on and on and on. so sore after this hike. They were swollen for two days to the point that I could barely walk. Despite that, I truly enjoyed my seven days on the Arizona Trail. It was brutal and beautiful, with extreme climbs, amazing views, and unexpected, delightful microclimates. I have since been back and hiked yet another section, so please stay tuned for that video. And of course, if you're enjoying this channel, please like and subscribe. About 
two tenths of a mile to the trailhead. Yay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Arizona Trail. You've been amazing. Yay. All done. Bye.